Hey YouTube, this is Dean making another vid. If you like my content, please consider hitting the like button. Also, please consider subscribing as it is very much appreciated. Um, Ron T. Sawyer wanted to, oh, he said he liked me doing my kits for my flint and steel. Now, this is pretty much all of the types of kits that I've made up or bought several of them and then made up kits. Um, it's a good spread of basically the, all the kits that I have. I do have a couple of other ones. I make a larger semi pouch, but this is just a indicative of the 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 smaller semi pouch I have. Um, I do have other Altoids tin style ones. I actually use um, a larger um, tobacco tin that I've made up several kits. I um, didn't get them out and to show you, but this is basically the most usual kits that I have made up. Um, I like these ones just in the um, little burlap or little little cloth bags. They're, they're a good solid little kit that you can make up. They're not that expensive to make. And I'll, as I'll show you, um, you can fit a fair bit of gear in them and get everything you need in the kit and it's a good little kit that's easily transportable. Just throw it in your pack or in a cargo pants pocket and away you go. The only thing is it's probably not as robust as a leather case or a tin but I have included a char tin in it anyway so you can make char as well um, I will go through and I'll put it all aside some of them so everyone aside I won't show you that one um, I only did a video on it a little while ago that's I bought that one off I think it was eBay and um, that's the pattern I used to make that up and that's the um, for my primitive fire making finish striker that I have have just made up and it, it it's a good little kit really nice little solid kit um, added the antler tine got everything in it ready to go just made this one up I've had this pouch I made this was one of the first pouches I've made up I've been making I made it it was originally for a Tontel Duis I had made up I um, changed it out didn't like it finally settled on it it's a flint and steel kit now I, um, I put one of my antler non-forged antler in it um it's just got some um lamp wick tread lamp wick some jute it's got a um char tin in there that's full of punk wood and three flints down the bottom there wrapped up in cotton just so that it doesn't get they don't get bashed around it all fits in there really nicely nice little belt pouch that um fit on your belt not a problem at all nice sturdy little pouch I think that turned out really well that was the first pouch I ever made so uh, I, I think I made that 20 years ago but um yeah holding up really well these are the semi pouches I make um this is the smaller one I usually make a bigger one just all these have about the same sort of gear in it that's a striker. I'm not sure which one. Nordic Dragon from Beaver Bushcraft. Jute. Char cloth. There'll be a flint and slow match. Flint. And another flint.
all good stuff. That one doesn't have a char tin in it because obviously you can't fit everything in those smaller semi pouches. Um, the larger semi pouches do allow you to fit a char tin in it, which I much prefer because I always like fitting a char tin in so you can make up char as you go. I will seal that. Put that. not on ah, that string on the on that pouch that was one of the first ones I made too this is a possibles pouch that I buy off fusion gear um, just a um, one of the eBay sellers here in Australia it's an extensive kit I won't pull it all out um, that's got my Hudson Bay, um, Hudson Bay tobacco tin with the magnifying glass. It's also got my other Hudson Bay tin in it with my um, Nordic striker from Beaver Bushcraft in it. A couple of flints and a slow match. That's full of charga and I don't use the Hudson Bay tin for anything hard. I only use it for tinders. So it's got Amadou, char cloth, um, all that's all the good stuff like that to use with the magnifying glass. That's a bearing block for. Um, it's got a, a bearing in it for holding on top of uh, um, doing um, bow drill although I loathe doing friction fire I included it in that kit just because I had it there made by a good mate of mine candle spunks or sulfur matches a tinder pouch oil skin tinder pouch flints Sailor's trench lighter and that's got the flints in it and in a tin and a um, char tin with um, tinder and um, charred punk wood all fits in that pouch there all ready to go and there are flints uh, I, I did mention there are flints in the, in the bottom of it there it's a big kit um, I did find these kits, you can put a lot of stuff in them and they do start to get a little bit heavy. That's the only thing. I do like them. They're, they're quite quite nice. But, um, yeah, um, you, you can fit a lot of stuff in them. So, yeah. I'm moving along quickly. I just don't want this video to be too long. This is one of those pouches I bought off eBay. It's very similar to the one there this has got my um beaver bushcraft squid um viking squid again got a couple of flints um slow match charga um amadou fluff all fitting in there fits all neat night nice and neat some um jute all fits in there very nice and neat i've shown this one before this is my micro kit um i won't pull it all out but just that's the micro uh, strikers it's got all the micro flints amadou and more micro flints in there in the little tin there it all fits in there i know the kit is not a small kit but it has a got it's got a smaller tin in there that you could make out of into a micro kit if you wanted to do it that was that challenge about the smallest kit you could make 
so I made it all there. This is my um, latest one. I think I showed it before about with my um, generic SE clone. Again, just jute, slow match, lamp wick with a um, flint and it's got a, a Fresnel lens down the bottom there. Really nice little pocket kit that. That's, um, that's a nice little modern kit. I like that one. Range of bend on it just to make sure it um, doesn't go anywhere. I like these trifold, trifold um, kits too. Um, got my Beaver Bushcraft Dragon boat with some Amadou and a flint in it. In there. In there. Beautiful German silver tobacco tin. Again, char tin with punk wood, flint, jute, and char cloth. This one's an extensive kit. Char tin. Empty. I don't even know why, why it's empty. I should put some stuff in there. Um, I should have filled that up with um, punk wood. Fat wood. One of the few kits that I've actually put fat wood in it. I will put some punk wood in that one. I don't know why I didn't put that in. I'm, I'm, I'm meant to, I'm, I'm sure I did. Um, jute. Char cloth. Ah, this is one of my modern, yeah. I know which one this is. Nathan 407, 4071. Ferro rod, magnesium rod. Beaver Bushcraft Combo Striker with a big heap of tinder cord on it. Slow match and two flints down the bottom. Last but not least, Punkwood char tin. Slow match. Okay, this has got, that's a striker. Oh yeah. It's got my, um, Persian Damascus striker in it. That's the Roman sled striker. Jute. Char cloth. I put extras in there because it's got several strikers. Two big pieces of flint. And a slow match and that's about that's yeah that's one of my slow matches and I included a beaver bushcraft slow match as well and that's my kits that's there's a common theme that runs throughout all of them I in, try to include as much um, of, as much gear in it to sustain several fires to get you going plus a char tin so you can make it up more as you go um yeah and that's a basic I, I'm, I'm i do most of the leather work myself except for a few when i first started out i started buying kits and then i started making them for myself 
but I do like this type of bag because you can buy them fairly cheap and then um, just add in whatever you want. But yeah, um, Ron said he liked seeing the the kits I make up, and this is this is pretty a broad a, a good cross section of the kits I make up. Anyway, I hope you've liked this one, and um, yeah, thanks for watching.